my channel, I'm Lone, a super seller. In today's video, we're gonna talk about Black Friday. I'm super excited about Black Friday because this is where you get all the deals. So hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you get notified every time I post. And now let's get into the top secret hacks. So Black Friday. Mm -hmm. Let's just brew a little bit about that. My first tip for you going Black Friday shopping is make a list. Make yourself a list so you know what you're gonna get, where you're gonna get it, and when that store opens. Because a lot of stores start opening a lot earlier than usual. For example, my store, we open at 7 a.m. That is three hours before we usually open, which means it's a smart idea to go shopping in that time frame because we usually have great deals. Not spoiler anything but a lot of stores do and also a lot of stores are open late so it could be smart going late as well also making a list is a great way for you to stay organized and stay on track because if not you're gonna end up buying two gifts for dad and none for mom and mom's gonna get super upset so make sure that you stay on track knowing who got what gift where it's a really good idea to go a week ahead and see if they have that item, ask if they can hold it for you so you can get it on Black Friday. If they can't, make sure you know, take a note of where it is in the store. Sometimes stores do reorganize, but at least seeing that they have your products and where they're placed. It's a good idea and it will save you time. And also check out the before price so you know what the price range is. And then when you get an email from their email list, hashtag you need to follow their email list and be a loyalty member. When you get that email, you see what the offers are so you can easier manage your money and put it in, in your budget which is a good thing if you want to stay organized and don't you spend too much money on christmas gifts or things for yourself however that is a personal thing you decide on your own but making a list and staying organized the second hack i have for you is look at the return and exchange policies no one likes getting a christmas gift that they cannot return because the giver did not look for the return and exchange policies. So to save your friends and family that heartache <laughs> and headache for not getting returned that piece of clothing that is just one size too small, check it out before. Because a lot of stores have different policies and they are allowed to. It is a privilege that the store gives you that you are able to return and exchange. So figure out, do they return and exchange? And when is the limit, like what's the time frame? It is a lot better to know that before actually shopping. And it also sucks for you if you buy something for yourself and it didn't really suit your expectations and then you can't return it because it was on this for a discount. It is boring, it is tricky, but go on every single store website, just beep, beep, boom, beep, beep, boom, find it and you will know and write it down on your checklist, write it down on your uh, I was gonna say grocery list. What is it called? Your shopping list. Thank you very much, Loam. Okay, your shopping list. And it's easier for you to know, okay, I, can, I have two weeks to return this if I need to. Hack number three is, are you buying clothing? Then dress appropriately. Because this is not the day that you should prioritize looking glam and fabulous. This is the day where you walk out in a big, big sweater and loose fitting pants and just easy things. and. Please don't use makeup, please. At least if you do, wear, wear as little as possible because we don't like getting makeup on our clothing because that makes us having to throw them away. I myself love comfortable clothing and especially if I go shopping because you can easily take it off, try on the clothes and easily put them on. If you have a lot of jewelry, a lot of, if you have a belt and they have this and that and skinny jeans here and there and pull me, oh. I dread that feeling because it gets warm and hot in the dressing room. Therefore, be smart. Be smart with your clothing, your attire of the day. My fourth hack is to sign up for their email list. This is because becoming a loyalty member at any store is a smart idea right before Christmas and Black Friday. Their reason is that some stores tend to give out special discounts and special offers to their loyalty members 
before the actual day. And some tend to give extra discounts or a gift card or any extra benefit to loyalty members. So signing up to become a loyalty member is a good idea for you, especially if you think about bulk shopping on Black Friday. If you're buying Christmas gifts or gifts for yourself, it's a great idea to follow the store's social media accounts. And this is because a lot of stores tend to post their best sold or the favorite items and things that are super trendy and flashy right now on their social media accounts right before Black Friday. And if you're lucky, they may have discounts, discounts for those things. So following their social media will also keep you in the loop on what they have, what's in store right now, especially if you are not the kind of person that goes into the stores every other day. I know this was a lot of hacks and I went through a lot of them really fast, but getting it all in one video right before Black Friday was my biggest priority. I hope a lot of people enjoy this amazing discount day and shop all their Christmas gifts and all their little gadgets that they want for themselves. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and hit the subscribe button and a notification bell so you get notified every time I post content. And I do this for you. I do it for the viewers and the ones that want to learn sales and retail. Thank you so much again for watching and comment down below what is your best Black Friday memory. Can't wait to talk to you next week.